right, open. And it's the box. And it floated up. They have levitating objects. Let's open up the box. Let us see what is in this box. Hello, guys, and welcome back to some more Sherlock Holmes crimes and punishments. Uh, what are we doing again? We are going to the yard. Yeah, because the inspector wanted to talk to us. That's correct. I'm going to go give him a little bit of a talking to because I'm like, hey, inspector, you got the wrong guy. And he's going to be like, yeah, Holmes, you're so right. I got the wrong guy indeed. And then we're going to be buddies forever and ever. Mr. Holmes, I'm glad to see you. As always, what happened? We have a new suspect, Liam Hurtley. I'm thinking that this case will be resolved very quickly now. Interesting. Pray tell. Well, the constable that I left at Woodman's Lee noticed a suspicious individual prowling around during the night. Do you have him here? Yes. He refuses to speak with us, but we'll make him talk. Let us hope so. Ah, oh, yes, and one more thing. The constable told me that at the time of his arrest, the fellow was writing a letter. A letter, huh? Mm. Do you have it? Of course. It's in the evidence room, at your disposal. Admit that for once, Mr. Holmes, Scotland Yard is a step ahead of you, huh? Mm, breathtaking. Yes, of course, of course. Spread taking. I'm here to assist you. And I know that you guys are doing wrong stuff. Because I have the real evidence. And what am I doing in here? I, this was locked before. Shapes of Gnosis. Um, let's see which one is Sherlock Holmes. I mean, he is, he is probably, hmm. I think he's number two. Or maybe a bit to re No, he's, he's more number two, but although his nose is not as hanging as those ones, so I don't really know. How is the investigation going, Mr. Holmes? Uh, yeah, I have, I have an idea who the murderer is. Doesn't mean that it's true, though. These are the it's the woman. Belongings. Oh, we need the boots. Liam Hurtley's old boots. They're a size nine and a half. Okay, uh, we also have the stained letter. The stains are fresh. They can be removed with the proper chemicals. Create a pen. pen. Nothing unusual about it. But maybe they're hiding something inside the pen. You don't know that. Guess need to go to the, the morgue. Maybe they have some chemicals down there that can like fix the um fix the letter. Uh, maybe th maybe these are the chemicals that can potentially fix it. No, no, not at all. Okay, fine then. See, I don't, I don't need letters anyway. I'm fine as I am. I don't need no letters. Hey, could, could you perhaps give me something How that can help with... Going? Never mind. Okay, awesome. I'll, I'll be back then, I suppose. Actually, before that, maybe the kid has something to say. Oh. Maybe not. Oh well. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. <laughs> okay. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I would like to ask you a few questions. I've already told the police that I've nothing to say. And you're not even part of the police. Precisely. And considering your situation, it might be wise to speak with someone who is, shall we say, rather more neutral. You are a suspect in a murder case. I know. Inspector Lestrade told me. It's ridiculous. Could you at least tell me who you are, and exactly what happened that you should be brought here? My name is Liam Hurtley. That I can tell you. But you're not getting any more than that. Well, we shall see. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, I guess I'll just get everything here first and I'll check out your boots you're wearing a hat does that mean anything you seem like you have a nice beard good sir oh, I only wish I had a beard like that oh you have a scar on your neck old scar wait wasn't JH something in the 
Um, wait, Crest. Isn't that the same one as the, the thingy? No? Pants. Plant remains. Ah, oh, so he was taking care of the garden, I'm gonna assume. Hmm. Was the wife cheating on the husband and you're the one she cheated with? I can't select the hat for some reason, so... Gardener's hands, huh? That's all for now. Okay. What am I doing here? Oh, he's still, he's still in there. It's okay, you get free food. It's not as bad as you think it is. I need to go to Woodman's Lee here. Huh? I need to go in and investigate. Don't worry, I have all the ideas in my head now. I have all the solutions. We go over to this one again. And then we we check out the footprints one more time. Oh, this looks perfect. These boots match the footprints exactly. Okay, awesome. New evidence. So the gardener, Hurley's footprints and no gardener. Uh, Liam Hurtley's boots match the footprints, uh, thus proving that he was there. To the Kali denies that he was their gardener. Hmm. Seems like I need to speak with her. Why did you lie about not having a gardener? I'm only trying to solve a murder case, so why you lied to me, huh? Does the name Liam Hurtley mean anything to you? No, I don't know anyone by that name. That's clearly a lie. That, Thank you, madam. That is definitely a lie. <laughs> you definitely cheated on your husband with that guy. Okay, now that I've confirmed my suspicions, uh, let's go back to the yard and talk to him. Tell him that his boot prints match exactly uh, the same ones that we found at the murder scene. Or very close to the murder scene, anyway. Hello again, you guys are probably wondering why I'm here all the time. Well, I'm, I'm investigating a murder. Find everything there, find everything there, okay. I would like to speak with Please Liam Hurtley here. this suspect for interrogation. Yes, escort him for interrogation. What about Woodman's Lee, huh? Tell me, Mr. Hurtley, what were you doing at Woodman's Lee? Woodman's Lee? I've never been there. That's a lie. I have footprints. Yeah, your, your footprints match. The second pair of boots that you had with you when you were arrested perfectly matched. Why the would you have a second unless he's not a. Just suppose he's a, not a footprints. gardener. That's your proof. How many men have boots like mine? That doesn't make me a murderer. Okay, what about it? Why were you there then? Now that your presence at Woodman's Lee has been proven, would you care to explain it? I don't remember. What would I be doing there anyway? Ooh, uh, uh let's see. Gardener. You be doing gardening? Because you are the gardener at Woodman's Lee. I'm not. How did you... I observed your hands. They told me that you work with the earth. Small fragments of plants snagged to your trousers indicate that you were mowing very recently. But the most obvious clue presented itself in the bird embroidered on your handkerchief. A crested tit, if I'm not mistaken. All right, all right, you got me. Yes, I am a gardener, and I went there to get my tools. That's all for now. He just went to get his tools? What am I... Oh, well. Uh, it seems like your suspect just went to get his tools. How is the investigation going, Mr. Never mind. Uh, what am I supposed to do now? He's a tough one. What is he trying to hide? Hmm. 
Hmm, may maybe I'll go to Baker Street first and then I'll go back again if necessary to see if I can find his tools over there. Because what I would expect now is I would probably go and see if his tools are actually there. Because if his tools are not there, that would indicate that he's lying about getting his tools. A new suspect, but this one refuses to talk. This case is more interesting than I first imagined. I don't know about interesting, this is making things more difficult. I'll figure out eventually anyway. And if they're not guilty, they have nothing to fear. Unless they indeed do have something to hide. Maybe now I can talk to her? Now that he admitted that he was here, maybe she's gonna be like, Oh no, you found us out. Who could do such a thing? My poor husband. What is in here? I want to know what is in there. It seems very important. So gardening tools, eh? Would there be gardening tools in here? Hmm, maybe he took the shelf. Not the shelf, the, the thingy in the shelf. I see no such gardening tools anywhere. We already proved that his footprints match. That he was here. And I... Tools, though. Where would the tools be? I, I just don't know where there could be any tools. Back here, maybe? Maybe I need to use this side. You're clearly lying to me. So I can't rely on your information. Okay, fine. You know what? I'll just leave again. Doesn't matter anyway. Then I must find more evidence against him, right? But what would I what would I find? Like maybe on the Hmm. I'm not saying another word. You should say Sounds. another word. Okay, I mean, maybe, maybe my evidence is messed up. It could entirely These be the case. The belongings. Isn't he on here? Hurtly, no, not that I can see. Maybe I need to go investigate the kid again? Like, talk to the kids? No? Okay, let me just... Oh, I can, I can do this. Alright, so... He was a non-smoker. Missing... Oh yeah, these things match together okay so there were stolen papers and it crashed again it really likes crashing there for some reason okay well you know the drill i'll i'll be back okay so we are right on back again so let's do this again please don't crash this time i'll just wait a little bit maybe i just need to wait a bit and then click okay stolen paper Ooh, they connected okay let's see what does this do Oh, uh, John Nilligan could have been caught stealing the bond. This might have been motive for him to murder. Uh, John Nilligan is a victim of circumstance. He does not fit the portrait of the murderer either by physical or psychological description. Yes, I, th I believe he's innocent. I believe you're innocent, what are you kiddo. Doing here? Okay, so since I have figured out he's innocent, going, Mr. does that change anything, or am I am I still, you know? I'm not saying. I'm Can I tell anyone that he's innocent? Feet of strength, uh, still unexplained presence. But what would happen if I selected the other one, right? What if he is the murderer? Uh, red color highlights logical conflicts between deductions. Okay, so they, they really help you a lot. <laughs> In case you mess up. Yeah, so what do I do with this info? Clues? 
He's a non-smoker, so maybe I can figure something out regarding the, uh, the tobacco. Tobacco? Okay, that's the paper. I need to, I need to figure out how to clean it. Uh, but I don't know how to do that. Maybe, uh, our friend knows how to do that. Because I, I, I picked it up, didn't I? Yes, I did. Now I just need to make sure I can make it, you know, clean. Excuse me. Service, Mr. Holmes. Oh, well, I guess I gotta go back to Baker Street. Gotta check out the, the cleanliness of the thingy. The letter is the only thing I'm missing right now. But how do I clean it up? Do we have gear to clean with? Hudson? Or oh, Watson? Uh, Hudson? I don't know. Hudson? Watson? Huh. A map of London and the surrounding area. Watson, do you have cleaning products in your in your room? Maybe I just need to open it up in my inventory. In all honesty, oh, can I can I like just do this and then it automatically swaps? Okay. Uh, yeah, perform analysis. But how do I do that? Because uh, I I would love to do this, but I don't know how. Like how 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 does one? A new suspect, but this one refuses to talk. This case is more interesting than I first imagined. I mean, it must, must be in the... My archive. I can always consult with it if needed. Letters? This is where I keep my post. Newspaper? My archive. I can all... Research? My archive. I can always consult with it if needed. Yeah, but analysis. Where do I do analysis? That's what, that would be very, very important to do. Oh, this is where you do it. Okay. Okay, so that's I what I use for that. A chemical agent that is capable of removing fresh ink. For this purpose, the chemicals from the flasks should be combined in a certain order to perform a chain reaction. First condition, all seven reagents should be used. Second condition, orange reagent should be the third one in the sequence after the blue reagent. Third condition, Colorless reagent should be added after the orange reagent. Wait, what? Oh, wait, 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 wait a second, what? First condition, all seven reagents should be used. Okay. Second condition, orange reagent should be the third one in the sequence after the blue reagent. So blue, Third blue, orange, condition. orange. Colorless reagent should be added after the orange reagent. Oh, so it's blue, blue. Yeah, well, that would be eight. Why is there a lot of audio in my right ear? <laughs> What's going on here? Okay, so I need the blue one. First. Okay, that's one. Then two should be blue again, as far as I understand. Then it should be orange. So it was blue, blue, orange. Then it's orange again. Blue, blue, orange, orange, mix, orange, mix. Right? Orange. Blue, blue, orange, orange. Then it must be this. Then it must be orange. And then... No, something isn't right. What? I need to start the reaction from the beginning again. But I, I followed all the conditions. Because you said the third one must be orange, which means this one is orange, no? 
So is, is it is it this then? Then it's blue. Blue. Orange. Then mix. No, something isn't right. I need to start the reaction from the beginning again. But I'm, I'm following all the conditions because he was like, first of all, all of them must be seven. There must be seven, right? First condition. All, all seven, seven reagents should be used. Oh, it is a green Second one. Second condition. Orange reagent should be the third one in the sequence after the blue reagent. Third condition. Colorless reagent should be added after the orange reagent. So it is blue, blue. But then is this correct? So it's blue. Because then it's blue here too, right? The second one is also blue. So blue, blue. Orange. And then blue, blue, orange, and colorless re re react reagent, right? But this is what I did before and it didn't work, correct? Or is it wrong again? No, something isn't right. I need to start the reaction from the beginning again. So it is just... But then it is blue, blue, orange, orange. Blue, blue, orange, orange, orange. Okay, this is this is I I don't understand what what exactly it means to have that mark there. Like, does that mean every single time I do orange, I need to also put mix? Because if that's the case, then I've already failed. But but then no, that means I already did it right last time. But I'll try it the other way now. So that is blue, blue, orange, uh, orange. Is it wrong? No, something isn't right. I need to start the reaction from the beginning again. Yeah, because there's this, this is wrong now. I'm 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 very confused. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually legitimately very confused. So it's a blue, blue. The third one must be orange. That, that's what they said. And then add green, just because why not? I don't know if that is exactly what I'm supposed to be using now, but I'm using it. No, something isn't right. Both I of them are wrong. Start the reaction from the beginning again. Okay, so here's what I'll do. I'll start with orange. Maybe, maybe that's gonna help me out a bit more. So I go orange. So it's often the, the bottom one instead. Orange uh, mix. Okay, then we have blue. didn't say the second one should be blue, right? Did it? But it's the only one that can be blue besides maybe green. Green is not mentioned anywhere. Oops, no, 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 no. Uh, put back. Uh, then I guess I'm gonna try to put green in now. Which should be wrong, right? Then orange... And then mix. No, something isn't right. I need to start the reaction from the beginning again. Then it must have been the green that was wrong. Wait, how many of those do I have? I have... No, I have seven, so I need to use green. This is so, so weird, because it only shows six. Okay, I don't get it. I really don't. First condition. 
all seven reagents should be used. Second condition, orange reagent should be the third one in the sequence after the blue reagent. Third condition, colorless reagent should be added after the orange reagent. Okay, so how I understand it is, first it needs to go blue, then it go blue, then it go orange. But but I just don't understand. Like, okay, so if we go, if we go blue, and then blue, because this is what it says. It says the second one is also blue because it's after blue. The third one is orange, but it's after blue, which means the second one is also blue. Then the third one is indeed orange, correct? So the third one here should be orange. And then the fourth one should also be orange. No, something isn't right. I need to start the reaction from the beginning. I don't again. get it. I don't understand. I'm just stupid, I guess. I, I just I just don't get it. Okay, so if I if I use this, what if I do it the other way around? So I blub this in here, right? Then I blub this in here. Okay. Then I go ahead and use the blue. Use another blue. Then I use the green. Then I use the orange. And then I use this one. Is that what I needed to do? No, something isn't right. God dang it. I need to start the reaction from the beginning again. I'm gonna skip this one. I really don't know. Like, <laughs> that's the closest I've been. I used all of them. But I didn't use it in the correct order, which, because, like, it just doesn't make First sense condition. to me. All seven reagents should be used. Does it to use green? Second condition. Orange reagent should be the third one in the sequence after the blue reagent. Third condition. Colorless reagent should be added after the orange reagent. Okay, let's try this one last time. So it's blue, blue. I'm still, I'm still going with that. It's still blue, blue to me here. So it's blue, blue. Okay. Orange. Then we mix the orange. No, something isn't right. Yeah, no, I'm skipping it. I need to start the reaction from the beginning again. I can't do it. I, I can't. <laughs> I'm too bad at it. Uh, his letter. I did uh, as you asked and hit them well, but I beg you to reconsider. I and remember our vows. I have done nothing dishonorable for which you owe me. Okay, I mean, that's clearly for the lady who works there. Let's go ahead and talk to her. Yes, yes, I'm Sherlock Holmes, and I'm here to talk to you, lady. I found this letter. It is for you, I'm pretty sure. Maybe it's for your husband, whichever one it is. Oh, I guess it's for the husband, maybe. Oh, husband. Uh, maybe, maybe. No, because she, she seemed like, like, based on her facial expression, she must have known that the dude was there, right? That only makes sense. Yeah, well, let's go ahead then and uh, talk. Dude, I must speak with you. Very important. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. 
I'm very upset with you hiding letters and stuff from me. What did you hide? So tell me, Mr. Hurtley, what did you hide? Hide? What are you talking about? Talking about the case. I'm talking about your letter. I did as you asked and hid them well. Should I continue? My letter? But the ink? That's impossible. A touch of chemistry, nothing special. Well, you're a smart one. But it's nothing. If you want to know, I was referring to my tools. It was to do with my work, see? I will check that, Mr. Hurtley. What? But it's clearly not. It, it's... That's all for now. Hurtley's it's the stories case. are false leads. But now I know one thing for certain. I must examine the site where the garden tools are kept at Woodman's Lee. Yeah, of course I must. I would assume as much. I was trying to get to that place even before I found the letter. He's just sitting there thinking to himself. I'm Sherlock Holmes, I'm Sherlock Holmes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so where do you keep your tools? I'm guessing it's up there. Somewhere up here, maybe? Perhaps? Do we know where the, the tools are kept? I would like access to the garden tools, please. Madam, we have information that the valuable stolen papers are hidden amongst the garden tools here at Woodman's Lee. We need to find them. Oh my. Our tools are kept inside the shed that's right behind me. Here is the key to open it. Okay, maybe she didn't do it. Maybe she was Thank a culprit, though. Let's see what could be hidden here. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Maybe on the floor. I thought so. Wooden blanks. Ill-fitted blank. Let's check it out. Sorry, I just sneeze. All right, open. And it's the box. And it floated up. They have levitating objects. Let's open up the box. Let us see what is in this box. Uh, rotate the lock cylinders to form a complete line. Please note that some lines are deceptive. Oh, that is that is a bit. This is not good enough? There we go. Alright, bunch of letters. A bundle of letters in a woman's hand with the Carey family monogram. Hurtley and Mrs. Carey were in a relationship. Yeah, I thought so. That is interesting. Liam, my dear, you have been good to me all the time I've known you. I cannot describe these feelings, but I suppose they are sinful and no good to come from them. I fear that might happen. I fear going against God. I thank you for your care, but I cannot leave the man with whom I have bound to have been bound by God. It is his divine will that thus my husband is the cross that I must bear. He makes my life a living hell, but proves his fate, and you must not worry for me. Ah, uh -huh. caught you red-handed? You and Liam. Madam, I am aware of your affinity with Liam Hurtley. Oh, what are you talking about? Come on, I, I found the, the, the letter. Romantic correspondence. There we go. Mrs. Carey, we found your letters. My letters? I asked Liam to return them to me. I wanted to burn them. Why did Mr. Hurtley put them inside the garden shed? I... I don't know. I wanted them back, but I couldn't see him. Not after... what happened. Well, here they are. Oh, this is terrible. Terrible. Liam, how could he? I... after what he has done. There's no proof you he did it. that he killed your husband? No, I do not know. I do not know. Leave me alone, please. 
Oh, now you're saying the truth, huh? Has managed to find any sailors. Okay, let's see, let's see. Are we ready for another crash? We might be ready for another crash. All right, so her letter fits Liam's letter. No? Her confession fits his letter. Okay. And that means that... Retrieving the notebook. Uh, the break-in attempts were made in order to recover the notebook. And they're looking for papers. No one's looking for his father's papers. That doesn't really do anything. Is this one? Has been confirmed that Liam Hurtley was flirting with Peter Carey's wife. And even fell in love. But it didn't go beyond the affectionate but harmless letters and words. Hmm, okay, okay. Hurtley's innocence, Hurtley's presence at Woodmiss Lee on the night of the murder is explained by his affection toward Judith Carey and the fact that he worked there as a gardener. That is true. So all of these things lead to the innocence. This, the only thing we haven't actually figured out yet is the feat of strength. So all our leads have gone nowhere, pretty much, right now. Which just sucks a little bit, but, you know, what can you do? Back to Baker Street. Alright, let us continue. Let's see if we can find... Mr. Holmes, we found the sailors from that list you gave us. Oh, thank you. Well done, Wiggins. Let me see. Hugh Sailor, James Lancaster, Patrick Cairns, uh, Pablo Hapuna, he died a week this ago. This is interesting. Let us review the other sailors now. Um. This is interesting. Let us review the other sailors now. This is interesting. What do you want me to this like? Man is a oh, that's what you mean. And his initials are PC. The same initials that were found on the tobacco pouch. Oh, that's what they wanted me to do. I was like, oh, you want me to out outline Wiggins, all the uh, wanted the book? some information on one of the sailors that you found? His name is Patrick Cairns. Sometime later. We found Patrick Cairns. Good job, Wiggins. Where is he? He lives in a small furnished dump of a room, but he's always at the Sea Witch Pub, where he does arm wrestles for money and drinks. Uh-huh, arm wrestles. Is your reward. I think Forget we found it. our murderer. Thank you, sir. Okay, okay. Uh, let's see, Patrick Cairns, and he's a non-smoker, which means Pat Patrick Cairns was with him when it happened, right? If the pouch belonged to Patrick Cairns, it indicates his presence at the crime scene, but it must be proven. If I wish to speak to Cairns without alarming him, I had better dress as a sailor. Really? Uh, all right, Sherlock, if that, that's what you think is best. I like the moustache and the thingy and the, the thingy. Okay. Uh, the sailor one. <clears throat> this black suit, bended outfit, farmer, morning gown. Sailor outfit, there we go. Now I can approach Cairns and see if he recognizes the pouch. Yeah, I'm a sailor now. Because I'm a sailor. Yeah, I'm a sailor. I sail around and round and round and round. Alright, well, that is also going to be it for this uh, video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, consider liking, subscribing and sharing. Hope to see you in the next one. And as always, stay awesome.